Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new video here today I'm Willing Kenny Fight for the channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well on this great day. And today we're gonna to be driving as Lando Norris in the McLaren around Azerbaijan, the street circuit. It's very difficult to get it right, very hard, especially that twisty middle sector. It's all about getting the right trajectory through the corners, judging it to perfection, not turning in too early or too late, or getting those curbs as we start the race now. It's an okay start and also ERS usage as we go into the back of Lance Stroll there. That's my Achilles heel in these races, using too much ERS. So we go down the inside of Lance Stroll, that's a nice move. And we get a good, good traction. That McLaren is very quick in the straight line. As we go under the Emirates, fly better board and change the camera angle to TV pod offset. So guys, it's all about getting into that prime position in these first laps, you know, getting into that rhythm and settling down. Because if you're stuck behind the faster cars in these first few laps as we dive it down the inside of Alonso, you might lose time and your race may be compromised with those stints, especially on the soft tyres. We've got to be aggressive here to get into that max possible position, you know, to reach our max potential. Just come now into this very narrow section of the racetrack. It's very hard to go side by side here and you'll probably be off if so. As we come into the castle section, it's all about threading the needle through there. Just getting the fastest way through the corners. So we come down now. We're in P8, up into P8, which is good. We've managed to make our way up. So we've just got to clear these guys quickly, and then we'll be in with a chance of maybe even fighting for top five finish with the big boys. Because if they clear out into the distance, we'll be just stuck in no man's land. But we've got a bit of pace here. We line it up on Gasly. We're close to him. We just need to conserve our ERS, but we've got a lot of speed. The speed difference here, we have to lift a little bit to slow down there. And as you can see, we're tucking in behind him and moving to the outside. As they move into the outside a little bit, but we get the move done. As you can see the Baku skyscrapers up high. As we get down, we're side by side with him. We de-enable ERS and we outbreak him into the braking zone. And that's a nice move up into P7 now. So... Yep, as I said, all about just keeping up that rhythm. So we hit the wall a little bit there. That was a little bit messy. Teasing the curb. You can always just lose that rhythm in this race. And as you can see, hopefully the weather is going to stay like this. Just come down into turn four, I think it is. Turn three. Now, turning a little bit too early there. So we're in P up to P7 now. And if we just keep on pushing and line these guys up as quick as possible. Hopefully, we'll get up to those red balls ahead. Let's push, guys. All right then, guys, here we are, coming towards the end of lap two now, and we're in a range of Vettel now. We've closed in quite significantly, which is great stuff. We've got a bit of pace. Gasly's six cents behind, so we're safe from him. And we've got a lot of momentum here, so let's just push, push, push. Get in that slipstream. He's got a bit of pace though, Vettel, in the slipstream of Sonoda. It's such a long straight, and as you can see, here we come. We've got the slipstream. We've got enough ERS, so we've turned it off. And around the outside, can we get the move? Yes, we can. Carrying the speed around the outside, and that's P6 now for us. And as you can see, Perez, the two Red Bulls, are actually on the medium tyres. So I expect them to be going long, and then maybe going on to the soft tyres with the Mercedes being on the softs, I believe. So, it's gonna get interesting, guys. As you can see, he's an odor up ahead next. So let's hunt him down. All right then, guys, here we are navigating our way through the castle section for a third time on to lap three. And DRS is now enabled, so this can really throw some stuff up. This is gonna be interesting, as we've Vettel, he's dropped back a little bit from us and we're really applying that pressure to Yuki Tsunoda with Perez 2.3 seconds up ahead, so that's not too far. The race is still on for us, so we've made these clinical overtakes which have been very good. We've been very fortunate in the way we've caught our opponents here. So we go through the corners. Not using our overtake, we're close enough. The McLaren's got lots of straight line speed, so we're very fortunate in that sense. So we Activate DRS. We've got the speed advantage. You can see Yuki maybe with some damage on the front of that wing and comfortably ahead before the braking zone. So that's P5, guys. Now let's get our head down and push, push, push. 
Maybe use a bit of that ERS. Just get our way through Baku. Alright then guys, here we are on to lap 4 now. And the gap 1.2 seconds to Perez. Verstappen is a little bit further up the road. But we're definitely close to the Alpha Tauri of Yuki Tsunoda. Seems to be struggling a little bit for tyres. Can we get in DRS range here guys? Always oh, close. I think we've just missed the detection point. But still, this is promising to say the least. I mean, we're doing a great job. Our teammate sadly is in the middle of the pack. He's stuck, so he's not able to make many overtakes in that DRS train. As you can see, gap starting to form a little bit here guys. As we say, one flight two two. I'm happy with that lap. And now we're closing in on Perez, doing some all right lines. Yep, here we are, coming towards him, and that's DRS, come on! Right then guys, here we go now, towards the end of that lap, and it's eight tenths now the gap, so we're safely within DRS, oh it's close, we need to nail this last corner, and that was okay, so, still in range, our tyres are starting to go off just a little bit, so we are going to pit in this lap, this is going to be... Where everything going to start happening here? So we've just got to nail this our lap. If we come out in traffic, it will not be good. But let's see what happens. Into the pits we go. Perez stays out. Let him to be going long. Come into the pits. Safely within the pit limiter. And now let's hopefully not get held up by anybody into the pit lane. So yeah, here we come. 2.5 seconds stop. And oh my, that was very unsafe release so fortunate it didn't slow us down though we, we didn't have to wait that's that's incredible we didn't lose any time then we come out behind Kimi Raikkonen now which is not the worst the alpha male obviously oh, hit the wall it's quite slow but it's important that we get him as soon as possible and we're actually using all our overtake here because we need to get Raikkonen here Bottas is just ahead so we boisterously make our eye around the outside break a little bit late there but the move is done and now up into 11th place, Bottas, who was in 2nd um, or 1st place originally. He's come out now behind George Russell and he is really struggling. So he was about 3-4 seconds ahead of us and now we've really gained on him. So that's unfortunate for Bottas. And this is another uh, position for us maybe, as we know the AI do lose a lot of time in traffic. And especially with the Williams very slow through the castle section with their old tyres. You come here. Williams are making a lot of progress though, I must say. Here goes Bottas, so he's going for it. He switches to the outside. What a concept there. And should make our way around the outside there. Taking advantage of the battling. And now we're in range of Bottas. That was a good little last corner. We lost a little bit of time there. So hopefully it's not cost us too much. As you can see now, safe in our ears. Because I think we'll have DRS after that. As we come into that Rolex board, and a second, here we go, our teammate is pissing, Daniel Ricciardo. Let's hope he can make some positions coming into this second stint. There's seven laps to go after this, as we gather the momentum, and around the outside, can we get Valtteri Bottas? This will be a crucial move. Yes, we can, around the outside. Nicely done there, and as you can see, Hamilton just came out of the pits there. He's 2.6 seconds ahead with the fastest lap. I think he's going to have to deal with Carlos Sainz and the other cars in traffic up ahead, guys. So, hopefully this will play into our, into our favour. Let's see what happens. Here we come then now, towards the end of lap 7. Hamilton, he's closing on Sainz quite rapidly. As you can see, guys, we've got purple sector 1. Can it be a purple sector 2? Yes, it can. Hopefully this will be a quick lap. However, our overtake is very low. Can we hold on for it, though? Hopefully this is going to be a quick lap. It looks so. Since you remember in 2018, Kimi Raikkonen he had brilliant first two uh, purple sectors. And then in that last sector, just went a bit too wide in the final corner, which cost him the pole. So you can see, we get a 1.19, which I'm very happy with. And we've managed to break Bottas in the DRS. And as you can see, Sainz and Hamilton really battling there. Side by side through the first corner and the second, I think, through that second corner. So if we can get these guys quickly, hopefully we can get in range of them. Bottas is not really a threat at the moment. 
he's not got too much pace, so let's just keep pushing. And yes, as you can see, Science. Hamilton has cleared Science, which could be crucial. We've got to get past Science quick. Oh, come on, this is not good. We're losing time through the slowest part of the racetrack. Hamilton, though, as well, is losing time. Behind an Alpine, I think. So, yeah, we've got to make this move. We go for it. Easy now with it. That was a very, very scary moment. But we're able to get the move done. Science is still there, though. So, you see, we really have to compromise our line there. And that cost us a bit of time. Science could get us back here, and Bottas is now in the fight. We've got to nail this last corner. A little bit wide there, maybe cost us a bit, but we got five tenths buffer to science with Bottas. He's going to get a double slipstream here. So we've got to just push, push, push. Our rear rest is low. We could be a sitting duck out here, guys. Hamilton moves up into P3. As the midfield runners pit into the pits. You can see Bottas, he's got the run on us. We move to the middle, he goes to the, to the outside. Can he get us? We break a little bit later. Squeeze him a little bit. And that's us into P3 now. Perez, I think, has just come out of the pits. He's going to be on the soft tyres with four laps to go on fire. I think it's five laps, so this is going to be interesting, guys. Here we are then now, coming into this very difficult corner to get it right. It's a little bit downhill, that corner, as you can see. Verstappen, he's going along, which is an interesting strategy. And yet, yeah, he's got a little bit of pace. The gap, 18 seconds, and into the pits he comes. But Hamilton is in second place, expecting to maybe come out ahead. All we've got to do is just keep pushing. Verstappen, these Red Bulls are going to be super quick on these softs. And as you can see, Perez, already onto the back of Bottas, got so much more grip and momentum. And can he get him now? He's within one tenth. We're safely within range, but Bottas, he's not too far behind us. Perez makes his way past Bottas very easily there. And now we're going to be under threat as Verstappen comes out into the pits safely ahead of us. He is going to be on fire on those tyres. Hamilton, he's better watch his wing mirrors because Verstappen is coming. Right then, guys, here we are after... A little bit of a lap, few spectres, and Perez, he's staying right in striking distance of us. Verstappen is on the charge, now very close to Lewis Hamilton. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a gap to the midfield cars behind us, so safe in that regard. I'm safe for P5, but yeah, we just want to hold on to this podium spot. Only a few laps to go. Verstappen closing in on Hamilton now. Here comes Perez. Can he get us, guys? We're using all of our ERS. It's down to 0% now. Bad saving. Here he comes. Look at the overspeed. He switched to the outside. Fastest lap. We decide not to fight this one. And hopefully he'll be able to pull us along towards the top two. But he's so quick, guys. Our tyres are not too quick. We go a little bit deep there. That's a big mistake. Bottas is 1.3 behind. He's gained a bit there. As you can see, we've got DRS. So we can just stay in DRS range. Still with the chance of that podium, two laps to go. Let's keep pushing. Okay, it looks as though we're still in the RS range, six tenths of a second. So we've just got to be neat and tidy through these last laps. Verstappen is making a little gap to Hamilton. So it seems like it's pretty comfortable for the top two, but can we get third place? Bottas, he's dropping back a little bit. The RS enabled, we've run out of overtake. Verstappen sets the fastest lap, 149.4. So we close up towards Perez, guys. Into turn one now. Be as precise as possible. Going over that curb that can help you gain a little bit of speed. Just turn at the right point here. As I tell you what, I love that Red Bull livery. Brilliant. Oh, Perez has a little bit of a lock up there. We're so close here. Should we turn the dive bomb? Oh, the corner it's too tight. 
too late. We've not got many more chances here. As we get go, ready to go into the final lap of the race. It's not too many overtaking opportunities. It's just down that long straight. And if you're close enough in that final sector, and there's first couple of corners as well. So just got to be as close as possible through this section. Trying not to lose time. Come on. Right then guys, time for the final lap. We are close enough to go for a move on Paris. We've stayed with him. And now as we go into the Rolex board, for the penultimate time, DRS enabled. We've got no overtake. We're pushing to the limit here. We move to the outside. And actually, it seems like a pretty straightforward move. We break as late as we possibly can. And we're able to make the corner. We get up into P3 now. It's all about this final lap. That final straight, it's going to be difficult to defend, but we've got a little bit of a gap here. Come on, let's keep pushing. Hopefully, give Landon Norris the podium he deserves. Coming into the final corner now, for the last time. Here we go, under the Fanatec. It's eight tenths to Paris. Can we hold it as we activate ERS? I think we'll just be all right, guys. It's been a great race. We've managed to stay out of trouble. And yet, here we come down the straight. Minimal steering input. Max Verstappen wins the race in Azerbaijan. And we get the podium. Get in there. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Standing fight for the front position today. And it's great to see it paid off for them. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today.